Sounds good. Master League opponent this time. Yep. For NCL. That will be a Terran. So it is. Indeed it is. Take it away, Naka. In the north, we've got the Protoss Terran. This makes no sense, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> His opponent in the bottom left, the blue Terran, Sean. I love when people just use their first name as their ID. So I just think it's so funny. <laughs> it's me, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, all right, yeah, I'll add you. So what's your name? Sean. No, I mean, but like, what's your, you know, what's your ID? It's Sean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Drop scout. Yep. Probe in scout. Base gateway. Yeah, I was just gonna comment on that myself. In base gateway, pylon in the opponent's base, but when I see the in base gateway, to me this is looking like the fake rush yeah. from Florencio. That's what it looks like. No you cancellation. Up oh, there we go. You know what? Maybe he'll cancel the gateway this time. You wanna place any bets? <laughs> Alright, uh, if, if the gateway gets cancelled, I'm gonna play a PvP best of nine with you. Oh boy, alright man, I take that, <laughs> I take that one. Oh yeah, there it goes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> heck yeah dude, I freaking love PvP, it's on, you <laughs> name the time and place, it's a date. <laughs> I need one week to prepare because I'm out of the meta. Oh, darn it. <laughs> All right, I, but, but I will we'll be ready. PvP, all because... Oh, Florencio is my hero in the meantime, hosting us for 22 viewers. Whoa, sweet. So it is, and here is the Florencio fake everything rush. With okay, lots of pythons. <laughs> but right, this, ne this Nexus is absolutely finishing, by the way. I'm calling that. Nexus is finishing... Mothership Core is going to come out. Period. It could still be fake. Like, look at all these workers being pulled. Yeah, there are in a lot of meantime, workers being pulled. In the meantime, we have to point out the differential between the income for these two players. Although, also look at the supply. Yeah. So, the Terran has a worker lead. Sean, I should say, has a worker lead, but is barely mining at all. Nexus does finish, and some pylons are being taken out, but two, soon to be three, are up and will be quite ready to be overcharged. Uh, there's still marines, I'm not sure if this is gonna actually work. Those pylons are getting pretty low, and another one is taken out. The marines are currently shooting wow. at the Nexus, which could be fatal. Uh, the mothership core alone is able to take out those two marines for sure. Oh, it's four of them actually, sorry. My bad. Another, whoa. Another mother, ship core, <laughs> has been queued up immediately. <laughs> I, I had to say that. <laughs> Couldn't come up with a joke, so you just said it how funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another mother, ship core. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so it was actually cancelled there by Florencio because the pylons were taken out and it looks like plan B must be activated for Florencio. What is that plan B? I'm calling Ninja Base. Florencio Natural, that's my call. That's where the probe is going. Could it be proxy something else? It could be proxying some tech. Could be, yeah. Uh, actually could be proxy uh, Stargate. Of course, we all know Florencio loves his Stargate play. Oh, he's going so close. It has to be. It has to be proxy tech. You know, it could be both as well. I mean, he, he could go with proxy Stargates right there, and he could just add on the Nexus in the same location. But there's still no star port for the ter from the Terran player, uh, Sean. So, actually this isn't too unsafe to do right now. Although there is a widow, widow mine being burrowed. And there's the star port coming as well. We actually do have a worker lead now for Florencio. So, we had six workers go down. 
for Sean. So, that one pylon did work then. Yeah, it really did because Sean pulled all of his SCVs into it. I think he should have just uh, ran all of them away. Oh, there is, by the way, this is uh, actually a bit of an intimidating force pushing across the map. One Cyclone, and we've got six Marines, I'm sorry, seven Marines, and the Cyclone is so strong against buildings. With that being said, though, there are three cannons waiting to greet him, so even with that yes. Cyclone, I don't think it's going to work. I think the problem with this push is simply the lack of high ground vision. Yeah, definitely. You have to take damage. So he does. Re you were right. Uh, yeah. The ninja base is happening as well as the proxy tech. Yep. Fleet beacon going down right away. Do we even have any Stargate units yet? No, we don't. So we obviously. Ha um, I was about to say we obviously have an in gate Stargate. I think Florencio canceled that because I did. Uh, I did see an in base oh, st Stargate go down earlier. Two Stargates uh, in the proxy area. Yeah. He had a. He threw one down right next to his main base before. I saw it going down, but yeah, he he canceled it. I just didn't catch when he canceled it. Sean had six hundred plus APM for a moment. Very <laughs> cool. I played some guy on ladder the other day who had like uh, he hit twelve hundred <clears throat> APM at one point. But how hit, do you even do that? I, I yeah, <laughs> I actually that's the thing. People must. There must be some kind of spamming trick because, like, I'll I'll check. Uh, usually, like at the end of my replays, I like to check my APM to EPM ratio because I want to be fast, but I don't want to spam worthlessly. Yeah. But so I like I had a higher EPM than this guy, who hit you know twelve hundred APM at one point during the game. So it must be about holding down keys or something. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It ha it has to be something like that. Pretty sure you can do 600 as a human. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes during the battles, I'll get up. Uh, I've, I've seen myself get into uh, like with high 500s. Might have hit 600 once during a battle. But anyway, this uh, this drop does come in to the main base. It's going to pick off an assimilator. Surprisingly, there's no cannon in the mineral line for Florencio. Usually he has that. Yeah. Mothership Core so did recall to the ninja base, by the way. Yeah, there were also no pylons, so the mothership core couldn't defend this. Yeah, good point. There's no no real option to defend. With that being said, I know that Florencio. I don't I don't know if he does this on purpose, but I know like he enjoys it. Watching oh. watching his stream, he like he enjoys having the Terran think that they're taking him out completely, while he's right. getting up the 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 high tech units. At the unscouted this could, base. This could be one of those moments where he goes, "Oh no, I, I screwed up. What do I do?" <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and he'll even um, spr uh, yeah, and then he pokes <laughs> then in he like this. <laughs> yeah, he oh he could actually get combat shields if he focuses that. He can get combat shields. He's not going to focus it though. The widow man is actually hitting the returning uh, interceptors. Could have done some really crazy friendly fire there, but he got a bit lucky with that. So I've Storm seen that shield and marines are doing some work, but yeah. I think this is at the moment a bit too strong. It really is. The carriers will just melt bio. Uh, they have to be supported by both widow mines and medevacs, and you have to be in the right position to take out the carriers. Two more carriers on the way. And it looks like the double medevac drop is coming back as well to try to help defend. Worker count actually favors Sean right now. But he is not... Problem. Biggest problem for Sean is that his buildings are being taken out. Yeah. He's really not able to produce anything right now. And the other problem, too, is that on this map in particular, Sky Armies can be really abusive in this location. Oh, yeah. You can't get them from land. You have to have air units yourself. Right. So a scan has gone down. He actually scans Florencio's ninja base. Wow. What? 
That was a really nice scan. I mean, he anticipated it because the guys came from there, but there were no reinforcements yet. So yeah. the anticipation factor here is next level. Yeah, that was that was a really nice job. I I'm not sure I would have thought that. Now, obviously, oh dear goodness, the mothership core goes oh. down to the marines. Carriers do get away. I, I was about to say so. Obviously, because of the fact that Florencio is not revealed, and Sean has taken out his main and seen that there was no base at the natural, he realizes that there is a ninja base somewhere. But I'm still not sure that I would have scanned that location on my first try. I, I probably would not have. I probably would have checked one of the corners. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of Marines out here. Oh, there really are. Four carriers in a Tempest against 34 Marines, but no medevacs. One carrier does go down. Oh. And actually, a lot of the Interceptors just died. Income is actually quite low for Florencio right now. It is lower than it is for Sean. Sean is mining from two bases now. Florencio is still on just one, but look how low health these Marines are. This is what I'm talking oh, about. Very. Yeah, they have to be supported by medevacs and widow mines, preferably. But each stim is brutal. At the same time, we've got Tempest pew-pewing away at these turrets. Uh, they're going to open up an opportunity of more harassment from this awful angle. Awful for Sean. Fantastic for... Lorenzo, yeah, of course. this is brutal. Two Tempests working away on the natural and one on the main. SCVs are going to be dying left and right here. It looks like... Okay, Sean's just going for the base trade. Sean is just... He has his army queued up to attack into, or I should say, toward Florencio's base. Ooh, massive mule drop. <laughs> and this bio army, wow. They're so hurt. And yeah. The carriers are ready. Carriers so are ready. Photon cannons. Yep. I don't think this is going to go well for Sean. The carriers are here. There are four cannons as well. Stim goes down. Probes are actually being pulled. Oh, wow. Wow, that's not the reaction I expected. All the probes are dead. All. Florencio has all these free carriers without any interceptors. These marines can really run after them and kill them off. Yeah, he they're focus firing other mm. stuff right now. He's not realizing what's happening. Uh, another carrier goes down, and the ninja base is at peril. It certainly is, and he does not have enough resources to make another base. So that's it oh, for Florencio no. this game in terms of bases. There is one probe. There's 236 minerals. He can make a bunch of buildings. He can hide them. But, oh, the bio army is being killed. Yeah, and I, th down. I think Sean is really going to regret not focusing the carriers when he had the chance. He was fighting the cannons. Florencio just barely got away. And now Florencio, oh. he's, he's going to abuse positioning as much as possible. But... At the same time, he does have to protect those buildings, so it's going to be interesting to see how he juggles this. With fully loaded carriers and so little marines, this is going to be extremely difficult. But the more marines are being made, yeah, M more and Sean does have an income, and he can just sit back and defend. There's not going to be any income left for, uh, for Francio here. And every little interceptor lost is actually going to cut down on the resourcing. These yep. interceptors are very finite and precious resource right now. So it's actually oh, uh, eight SCVs to one for Florencio. Of course, uh, Florencio's probe is not really going to be able to do much for the rest of this game now. Indeed, and that's the last of the interceptors that can be produced. That's it, there's no more. Once they're dead, the Tempest are the only firepower available. Yep, and Sean is just, he's just pigeonholed here. Into his natural. 
I'll tell you what. Now, it's it's very easy to second guess what someone's doing when you're observing. But I will say that with this gigantic mineral bank, Sean should be sending an SCV out on the map to throw down a ninja base. I agree. And he also should be making marines, but he's not. No, he's not. And Florencio is doing a really good job of keeping his army out of danger. He just keeps poking in and pulling back over the destructible rocks and that dead air space. It looks like the Marines are now heading over toward Florencio's remaining buildings, or at least some of them. He will still have to fight those cannons at some point. That's some very adventurous Marines there. They could be easily picked off. Yeah, and from the Terran perspective, the Terran has to stay out in the open here he cannot go near any dead air space or cliffs because florencio will just perch right over top of them and fire down they're looking for further bases but florencio is realizing this and he's he's like okay i got nothing crucial there yeah he's Turning gonna around he's gonna take out this uh this orbital command the orbital command goes down without a fight and Sean, he's not making any more SCVs either, which I, I really think he should with that mineral bank. He, he should be spending as much as he can while he can. So once this Protoss army shows up on his doorstep, he's going to be hard pressed to do anything. The Marines do reach the buildings, but that's not all the Protoss player has. No. There's still the cannons up in the north. This is going to be a straight-up base trade, I think. Th this is going to be, or I should say, a base race. It's going to come down ho to who can kill the other's buildings faster. Oh, no, he's ignoring the the interceptors. Yeah, oh, oh, you're totally right about that. He went in just to kill the, um, what was it, a, a, oh, a Tempest. The Tempest, yeah. Oh, no. There's still the Marine Blob. Actually, I think this is winnable. It is, it is winnable, but at the same time, I think that like Florencio is just demonstrating superior decision-making. Sean appears as though he does not know what to do. Like it, This is really evident in the fact that his Marines oh, abandoned. The, stem. the cannons are going to take the Yeah, the can out. this is exactly what I'm talking about here. Sean is actually oh. killing his own units while Florencio is taking out his base. Oh my god. He's stimming again to kill a pylon and an assimilator. And without healing, he is literally killing his own units. Florencio did a great job in his base of pulling, of kiting Sean. Sean was not focusing the interceptors. Florencio abused that. And those Tempests are just going to keep picking off these Marines one by one. Not really caring. Yep, oh, a Widow Mine does get burrowed, but Florencio moves right out of the way. If he focuses down the Widow Mine, I think he can get it there. Again, Florencio, we've got a little micro war. Out of range. It's just the two Tempests now. Oh, they're going to shoot one more time. It's gone. This is it. I, yeah, I do believe that that is it. And now I think Sean is doing what he probably should have tried to do a while ago when he had two bases. And Florencio had to focus on just one base for a while. He just, His forces were so limited. What a game. Fantastic game here. The buildings. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Is he actually going to try to survive here? I'll tell you what, if he had a Widow Mine, I would think that he might, and this is a huge might, but he might have a chance to kill Florencio's units. Of course, he can't kill a cannon with a Widow Mine, but this Orbital Command is oh. going to go down as soon as Florencio focuses it, and oh, I think Sean is just coming to grips with this. Yeah, unfortunately, this game is now over. There's... Nothing that can be done at this point. Now, what? Well, I'll tell you what. I would not have even blamed Florencio if he had tapped out at one point when he lost his last mining base. But he stayed in the game, just uh, just really positioned his army 
very well, and he kept his cool. And I think that was the difference between these two players. Florencio kept his cool, and Sean did not. I think he kind of panicked. Like I was saying earlier, he split some Marines to uh, to go up and hit the cannons. Or, and he did not even finish taking out the Assimilator and the Pylons at that point. It was like he just didn't know where to attack, didn't know how to handle the situation. <laughs> there is, uh, there's that... that... <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. All that is left is picking off these buildings. Yeah. There is one final Hail Mary... For Sean, <laughs> the Spock's then chat said, "Come on, Sean, you're better than this." <laughs> um, but there's so there's one hail mary for Sean, and it's with his Marines. I think he has five. Yes, one of them is actually about to be picked off by a Tempest. So let's make that four. He's gonna try to take out the rocks, come up around from behind, and hit the pylon, thus unpowering the cannon. Oh. But. I think that the second pylon cannot be attacked without taking cannon fire, though. And, of course, Flor uh, Florencio... Oh, he does have a, a carrier there, but that carrier has zero interceptors. So it'll be the Tempest, Indeed. though, that does the, the, the work on defense. The carrier is just a meat shield. Maybe it yeah. gets attack moved or something. Yeah. But, yeah, Florencio has everything covered... One Tempest continues to work away on all buildings. Um, maybe Sean could maximize his chances by pulling all of his buildings together with his Marines. Maybe uh, even then, you know, I'm, I'm just looking for any way that he could possibly take out the remaining buildings. But it's a long shot to say the least. The stim alone will probably kill him. GG is called. Oh, wow. The next question I was going to ask is, uh, can you even get the...